Hi everybody, this is me back again and this week is Marathon Training Week 11. Um, there is exactly one month and 23 days till my marathon. Um, this last week went good. I feel like spring is here. Um, I hope I'm not speaking too soon, but this whole week is supposed to be in the 70s. I'm so excited. Um, but let's see. Okay, so last week was just a very nice warm run. Um, for my Tuesday run, which is like my midweek kind of longer run, um, it was seven miles and it was, I just ran, I had to do one loop around the lake at the end because it wasn't quite long enough, but it was cool because on my run I saw on the gate, um, I think I wrote it in a blog on my Eastside Morgan blog, um, but it's it was graffitied on the gate, it said uh, dare to dream and I feel like this is a big dare <laughs> to dream for this marathon. So, um, but I'm still sticking in there, and that was a fine run. Um, let's see, uh, two, or Thursday was um, four miles hard, and I think I was able to run it the fastest I've ever run. Um, currently, I've lost um, 22 pounds um, since I started training, um, and I'm really watching, like, my calories and stuff, and I don't know, I'm a little bit just like, you know, just live life, but also don't overeat just because I'm training, so I'm trying to do that, and I really think that's shaving um, some time down when I'm trying to run hard. I still feel like on my long runs, I need to run slow just in order to make sure I can, you know, finish strong. Um, I've never ran this long that I'm running now, so I don't know if I can keep up a 11 30 pace or whatever it is um, I'm sure after this marathon maybe if I keep trying to run I'll try to get faster and then hopefully if I keep losing weight I can get faster as well because I'm not lugging around that extra whatever many pounds um, so I'm still pretty slow but whatever faster than the person on the couch I guess right <laughs> whatever that quote says so anyways um, on Saturday I did my first 15 miles which like I keep reminding myself like that's the longest I've ever run in my life so it was really good nice run I started about mm, nine I guess and the first half was great um, seven and I ran seven and a half miles up and then seven and a half miles back and the first half was great the on the way back it was getting really warm so I think I need to start running in like biker shorts or shorts or something because I just felt really warm and and then I tried to reserve my water this time or my fluids like towards the end when I needed it more um, I think my body was just kind of like Bleh. so I felt okay till 13 miles and then um, even I felt fine up until I think like mentally it really is a mental thing like I know I'm only going 15 I know I'm running back home and all this stuff so once I like got in my complex I was like I want to be done um so it was about like the last half mile I was like I think I'm gonna die <laughs> it was that 12 mile experience again that I had before so it was kind of just like I thought I was gonna puke I felt like I couldn't go one more step and these are the moments when I'm thinking okay this is 15 miles and <laughs> that's just a little over halfway there so ah um, but I again I remind myself I felt like I felt like death my first eight miles on this training and I felt like death my first 12 miles um, so it's the longest I've ever run so I got to give myself a break you know like I felt pretty good up until like only felt like death the last half mile if I had any longer than that I probably would have had quit or walk or whatever so I made it at least so that was that experience, um, and um, also I'm going to be running 16 this weekend. That's my son again, and um, so um, I have, uh, I believe, eight tomorrow, um, and then four again on Thursday. I was supposed to run four yesterday, but I forgot because it's been three up until this point. So, but now it's increasing. So I accidentally ran just three yesterday, but. Oh, well, it's just tomorrow. And then, um, and then 16 on Saturday. So, it's increasing, and 
even one more mile next weekend, but um, I'll be able to see what it feels like, and I think I might try to start a little earlier next Saturday just to keep it cooler for me. I mean, it's cold kind of when you start out, especially if you're going to start decide to wear shorts, but I'd rather be like cooler than so like hot and sweaty. So anyways, that's my update for this week for marathon training, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.